In today's video, we're doing a Frenchie Co. Speed Wallet Mini Review. In this guide, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about this wallet. The pros, the cons, and everything in between so you can decide whether or not this is the wallet for you. And be sure to stick around to the end because if this is not the wallet for you, I'll give you some alternative recommendations for wallets that I think might be better for different use cases. Let's jump into it. So let's kick this review off by just talking about the overall gist of the Frenchie Co. wallet. What's your deal? Let's talk about it. And just to emphasize, we are reviewing the mini version. There are also other versions of this wallet that have different sort of features and characteristics. And it should be noted that our videographer, Margaret, has been carrying this around for how long, Margaret? Around a month. Okay, so we've got some real experience with this and we got a lot to say. Frenchie Co. is known for their leather wallets, super premium, but while also having really cool design and functionality associated with that design. And that design is sort of how you sort of flip this guy open, right? So this is the cool, awesome, Frenchie, unique design, how it sort of opens this way. The cache is right here, and you just go ahead and flip it closed. Nice magnetic closure, super satisfying, super innovative, and it's just like different from a traditional, wow, <laughs> caught it. It's just different from a traditional wallet. Frenchie just kind of reinvented the book and you got this beautiful sort of like, it's like, it feels like magic. It's just really innovative. And I like innovation. But does it come at the cost of functionality? You're about to find out. Let's talk about the outside of the Frenchie Co. Speed Wallet Mini. It's made from top quality, eco-friendly Italian leather. Oh yeah, it's got that eco-friendly Italian leather smell for sure. I love the smell of eco-friendly Italian leather. <laughs> and it's not just the look and the smell, but it's also the touch. It's super smooth. I've reviewed a lot of leather wallets. Like I said, I got the Bellroy right here, which also uses premium leather, but ooh, I think that I like this one better. It's just got a, it's just got a really nice premium feel to it, which should help rationalize the price tag because these wallets aren't cheap. As for branding, super subtle. No like big loud logos, just Frenchie Co's uh, little dog mascot. I'm gonna call you Ralph. Just Ralph chilling in the corner right there, doing his Ralph thing. Subtle and discreet, just the way I like it. And Frenchie Co. offers a lot of color variations. We got the Ultra Navy. There's also a black, a brown, a green, a red, a blue, and another brown, so lots of color options. And then for the last part on the outside, we got these two tabs right here, which I like that they're color coordinated. Frenchie Co. were kind enough to color coordinate these tabs. So I got the brown one and the blue one, just sort of helps like create that mental connection between which cards are in which section in the wallet. Now let's get inside of the Frenchie Co. Speed Wallet Mini. And probably the second biggest selling point is really just that feeling when you open it up and just kind of like this, how it rolls open. It's like a red carpet. It's just like, it's majestic in that way. And it's a really fun experience. And I don't think it compromises too much functionality in some ways, but it does compromise functionality in other ways. So for instance, you're on a hot date, you're at the movie theater, you're gonna go see the new Batman movie. And you're like, don't worry, babe, I'll pay for this one. You whip out your Frenchie Co. wallet. She's impressed. Pay for the tickets. What was that? I'm sure, oh, 60, here you go. But then you forgot you had a coupon, right? And she's like, it's actually only 50. You're like, sweet. So taking the money out of the wallet was a piece of cake. But now you gotta put this back in the wallet and that's where it's a little more annoying because now you gotta kinda unroll this thing and stick the bill in and make sure it's there and now you're good. So you see what kinda happened there? Taking cash out, you just gotta kinda open one flap. But when you're putting cash back, it requires a full opening and it's just, you know, it's, it's a process. Now the cash panel compartment can hold up to 15 bills, it says. Margaret's got 14 bills in here, it's like in money stacks. Um, and I think that it could fit more, but it is advertised to fit 15. I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 bills that it held very comfortably. Now we can see what that cash compartment sort of looks like when it's empty. I love the design choice here of going with a different color on the inside. All of the mini wallets have this. Whatever color is on the outside is going to be different from the color on the inside, and it gives it a nice effect. Even when the wallet is closed, you can still sort of see this brown lining, and it just helps to give it a little bit more vibrancy. It's just, it's just really top-notch design. Some more branding right here with the Frenchie Co. Quality stitching around the edges. And look at that, made in Colombia. I've reviewed a lot of products, but never a product from Colombia. 
pretty cool. And right here, you can see where the magnet is. It's a pretty hefty size magnet. It's not too heavy, but you can see, you know, that's a chunky magnet right there, and it has a really nice magnetic clasp. It's definitely strong, really strong, but not too strong as to where it's difficult to open up. Margaret, did you ever feel like the magnet was not strong enough, like your money would fall out? No way. No way. A ringing endorsement. Also, real fast, I'm Aaron. This is Nomads Nation, where we do the best gear reviews on YouTube. If you dig wallets, backpacks, slings, really any gear, we review it all. And you should definitely hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified anytime we go live with a new review. Let's talk about the card holders. We got two different card compartments. As I mentioned, each has its own tab, which is colored differently so you can know where you put your cards. And each card compartment can hold up to six cards, which means that you can hold up to 12 cards in total, which is a lot. This thing can ultimately hold 12 cards and 15 bills, which is nice because it's got this minimalist sort of vibe and feel, but if you carry a lot more, maybe you got business cards, you just like to have a lot of cash on you at all times, the Frenchie Co. Speed Wallet Mini can handle it all. Opening the tabs is pretty smooth experience. This is just a pretty basic nylon, but it's got a nice smooth feel to it. Seems pretty durable, can't really complain. Pulling up, super simple, and then when you're done with the card, just go ahead and pop them back down. Now, it should be noted as well, the Frenchie Co. website says two cards per slot minimum. I suspect that's because when the cards are in there, like there's more cards, it means that they're less likely to fall out. But they seem pretty solid. I got two cards in there each. Let's go down to one card each. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is one card in each slot. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more likely to fall out. So when you've got two, they sort of cooperate and create like a strong alliance. Like we're not going anywhere. But when there's only one card in there, the alliance is broken. One thing to know is that if you have your cards out and you gotta put them back in, there's a lot of slots in there. It can be a little confusing where to go. I actually have no idea where do you go. I think you go here. Yeah, that's it. But it's not the end of the world. It's not a deal breaker, but something to take into consideration. But ultimately, once you know where everything goes, taking out the cards, and putting them back in and using these tabs is a pretty simple and satisfying experience. Let's talk about the pros and the cons of the Frenchie Co. Speed Wallet Mini. Pro number one, fantastic materials. Obviously the leather, top notch. But even the magnetic closure, they kept it light while also having a strong magnet. It's just great materials across the board. And pro number two is just the innovative design. It's a different experience. It just looks really sexy and feels super cool. That's it. That was pretty cool. And pro number three is going to be the quick access of both the cash or your cards. But on the cons, while it's easy to get your cash out, it's a little bit more time consuming to put your cash back, especially if you want it like nice and clean. And con number two is that if one of your card slots is empty, trying to determine how to get these cards back in can be a little challenging, but you'll get it, but it just takes a little finagling to get used to. It definitely works. So you're still here and you're like, that Frenchie Co. Speed Wallet Mini, I want it. Well, if you are going to make a purchase, we do ask that you use the first link in the description, just right down there. That link makes sure that you get the best price on the Frenchie Co. Speed Wallet Mini. And it also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. Thank you so much. But if you're not quite sold just yet, let me throw a couple alternative wallet recommendations your way. Alternative recommendation number one is going to be really any wallet from Bellroy. Bellroy, also known for their high quality leather, but this wallet right here, the Bellroy Note, is just a little bit more of a traditional setup. Access is a little bit faster, but you still got some cool like tabs and features, and it's a great wallet. I've been carrying this around for the past six months and I'm not switching anytime soon. I love my Bellroy wallet. And it's got a little bit of a thinner profile. If you want to check out the review, we did a comparison of this with another Bellroy wallet called the Bellroy Slim Sleeve. And you can find that comparison video in the description below. There's a link right down there. Alternative recommendation number two is going to be the Aviator wallet. I don't have it right now. Roll the B-roll. This is gonna be a wallet for you if you're looking for a super cool, metallic, masculine, modular wallet, the three Ms. It's a bit heavy, it's a bit clunky, but it's a really cool experience. And to learn more about the Aviator wallet, you can find a link to our full review in the description below. And finally, the last alternative recommendation is going to be the Nomadic wallet. The Nomadic wallet's gonna be perfect for you if you love the functionality of these tabbed card slots. 
but you don't need the wallet to open. The Nomadic wallet is just like this, and then you put your cash on the outside. It's nifty, it's really affordable, highly functional. If that interests you, check out the review, link description below. If you are still here, it probably means that you found this review to be useful. If that's the case, we would really appreciate if you could just show us a little bit of love by just tapping that like button. That small gesture helps to communicate to us and most importantly to the YouTube robots that we're doing a good job. And also if you love wallets, if you love backpacks, if you just love gear, we review it all and you should definitely consider subscribing so you'll be notified anytime one of our new reviews goes live. And also let me know like, what's your thoughts on the Frenchie Co wallet? Do you think like this cash compartment system is as innovative and cool and sexy as I do? Or do you disagree? Also, do you own the Frenchie Co wallet? Any Frenchie Co wallets? If so, I wanna hear what your experience is like. Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much. I'm Aaron. This is Nomad's Nation. We'll see you next time.